In order to reduce the risks of hydrolock at startup, a slow-turning system has been developed for the marine engines. Hydrolock occurs when a cylinder is completely or partially filled with an incompressible fluid. In the worst case, hydrolock can damage the connecting rod and the crankshaft. Slow turning reduces these risks significantly. When starting an engine using slow turning, the slow turning valve is activated first. The attempt is to rotate the engine at a lower speed and thus prevent any possible damage to the engine. Slow turning is completed when the engine has rotated the configured amount of revolutions in the configured amount of time. After a successful slow turning, the start air valve will open and the engine will start. If the slow turning procedure fails, a failure alarm will sound and the engine startup will be aborted. The engine should then be inspected to determine the cause of the failure. In above demo initially during starting main engine turns one turn by slow turning control valve and then goes to full starting speed by opening the main air start valve. Demo also shows if main engine cannot make complete one turn due to hydraulic lock then the engine startup is aborted and failure alarm is sounded to inform the personnel to inspect the cause of starting failure. The above figure is pneumatic and electrical control is implemented to achieve the slow turning sequence. Sequence is achieved by pneumatic directional valve, solenoid valve, timer, revolution detector, slow turning and main air starting valve. In starting sequence when starting push button is pressed first air goes to slow turning valve which turns the engine to specific revolution for specific time. When slow turning phase is finished the main air air starting valve is signaled to open to supply required starting air. In case if the engine is stopped for more than 30 minutes engine cannot be started without going through slow turning phase.